Good Wednesday morning. I apologize for missing yesterday, but we were driving home from Jersey and had to leave early to beat the storm. I ended up driving in some bad rain for much of the trip. It wasn't fun for Rhonda, but God watched over us and we made it home safely. And this kind of goes with what the psalm for today is talking about. Might and right. Get your Bibles and let's see what the psalmist has to say. Turn to Psalm 89 and look at verses 9 through 18, and follow along as I read. Psalm 89, 9 to 18. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. You crushed Rahab like one of the, one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours and yours alone, also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong. Your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They celebrate your righteousness. For you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Now here are two attributes of God. He is all-powerful, and He is perfectly righteous. To those confident of their own insight, Suffering disproves the existence of such a God. They reason that he would want to end suffering if he were good, and he would do so if he were omnipotent. Some evil continues, they conclude. God can't be both, but we should admit that an infinite God could have good reasons for allowing suffering that our finite minds can't fathom. Once we take the more humble stance, God's attributes are a de of deep comfort. Because he is all-powerful, nothing is out of his control. Because he is perfectly righteous, everything will eventually work together for good in the end. Let's pray. Lord, my heart often resents your power and questions your righteousness. But when I think I know better than you, I sink under anxiety. How truly blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you. The more I accept your goodness and control of things, the more I can relax. Amen. Now for my friends in Jersey who have lost their power, know that I'm praying for you and for the power to be restored. But friends, God's power can never be shut off. We may choose to not accept it from time to time, but that power, that saving power is always there. So when things are getting dim or the storms of life are raging, rely on God's might and right to get you through. Amen? Now may you be blessed today and find a way to be a blessing to others. Be blessed.